Hello guys, Swaroop here. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can get all your changes back and undo a git hard reset. Let's begin. We all know that git is a really powerful tool and as the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility and this applies to git as well. Git is so powerful that if you're not careful when you're using it, it could seriously backfire and, and screw you over. Git hard reset is one such double-edged knife where you have to be very careful when using it or you can just lose everything you have been working on. One such incident happened at work last week where somebody accidentally did a git hard reset when they were not supposed to. Although we were able to get all the changes back, that whole adventure inspired me to make this video so that so you will know exactly what to do when something like this happens to you or somebody in your team in future. So there are these three scenarios uh, that you see on the screen now where a git reset hard can affect you. So the first case is that you have modified a file or changed something. Uh, so you have neither staged, staged those changes nor committed them. So git has no knowledge of these changes. In this case, there is nothing you can do at least with git because those files are as good as gone. So if you are watching this video to undo this particular scenario, well, I'm just sorry because there is nothing you can do. You probably have to check your IDE or your editor's uh, temp files and undo settings to see if it's possible to get those changes back. Try your luck with that. Git can recover anything uh, if it knows about that. But if you have never committed a particular file or never staged it, well, Git can do nothing about that. So now moving on to the second case where you have staged the changes uh, you have done. So that is you did a git add with that file but did a hard reset before even committing that. So in this case you can still get those changes back although there is a bit of a work that you need to do. So spending a couple of minutes in retrieving the lost files I'm guessing should be much preferable uh, and be much better than doing the whole thing again. So this is not an issue at all. And finally, the easiest, the easiest of these scenarios is when you have already committed your changes, but you just did a hard reset onto a different commit, which removed the commit uh, you wanted from your current branch. So these are the three scenarios that we have. And as I said, the first case, there is not really anything to do about. So we'll cover the second and third scenarios here. And we'll start with the last one because that's the easiest one. So we'll start with that and see how we can retrieve those changes. I'm already under a git repository as you can see here. So if I do uh, if I do an ls, you can see that I have one file called movies, which is just the list of movies that I have watched recently. And currently it only has one movie that is Spider-Man Homecoming, which I've watched a couple of months ago. And if, we, and if we look at the branch structure, and by the way, uh, git log with these three options gives you a nice graphical representation of your entire branch. So you can see what's going on uh, in your branch. And if, you're, if you can't remember these options, just remember dog. So dog should be able to remember this command with that. So if I do this, you can see that I only have one commit on this branch and that one commit is where I have added this one movie. So that is the current status of the repository and I don't have any modified files as well. So now let's say I want to add another movie. So I go to the movies file and uh, add another movie that I've uh, watched recently, which is Wonder Woman. It's a really good movie by the way. So if you haven't watched it, you should definitely check that out and save that. And we stage this file and commit it. I'll directly do a message here. I'll just say two movies. Because now we have two movies in this. And if we do a log again, you can see that we have two commits, which we expect to see. So now, let's say you've done a git reset hard onto this commit. 
But now if you do a log, you don't see the two movies commit anymore because that commit is gone when we did a git reset heart to this particular commit. Of course, if you already, uh, here in the log, we already have the ID of the commit we want to be at. So if you already have the commit, you can just do a git checkout. So with that commit ID, if you do a git checkout, you will be at that commit. And if you do a log again, you can see that we have both the, both of these commits. But let's, let's just say you don't have that commit ID with you. So we'll do a git, uh, we'll go back to that again. So we'll do a git hard reset. And so now we are, we only have one commit and we want to get back to this commit. So in this scenario, what you have to do is use a command called ref log. So if I run git ref log, you can see uh, the entire list of repositories, uh, entire list of all the changes that have been done so far. So ref log is basically a logging mechanism for all your change, all the changes uh, that you have done. So all your commits, uh, all your checkouts, switching from one branch to another branch, all of them would be recorded in this ref log. So if you see here uh, in head three, it says commit to movies. So that is the commit we have done and we already have the commit ID here. So you can use that commit ID to go to that particular commit and you retrieve all your changes. And we have both the commits now. So that's how you do uh, an undo of git reset when you have already committed a particular change. So this is really straightforward. All you have to do is use git ref log and pick out the commit you want to find and just use that directly. Now the second scenario is when you have added something, that is when you have staged a file uh, and did a hard reset before you have committed that. So let's see that. Now, if we open the movies file again, so I would like to add another movie here that I've watched recently, so which was Dunkirk and the good movie. spell it right so I'll save this again and do a git add so we have staged this file now as you can see it says modified movies let's look at the log now so let's say I just did a hard reset here so we'll have get reset and now if we do a git status You won't see that file anymore because it's not there. Of course, you are seeing this head detached because uh, we are not pointing to any branch right now, but that is fine. So those changes that you have done with, when we have added uh, the new movie is gone now. But as I said before, Git doesn't throw away any of the changes. So there is a way to get that back as well. And the command you have to use for that is FSCK, which stands for file system check. So we can get back those changes using this command, get fsck. Now what this does uh, is that it looks at all the blobs of information that it has uh, present in, in the .git directory and looks at the dangling uh, blobs. So if I run this command, you can see that it has dangling blob with a hash ID. Dangling means uh, those blobs that are not part of any other commits. And since the Dunker change that we have done, we have staged it, uh, which created this blob, but uh, we haven't really added that into any commit. So this blob is dangling because it's not part of any commit. So here we have the hash of the blob, but we still don't have the content of this blob. So to get that, we have to use another command called get show to which you pass this uh, blob id which is this and here you can see the output of the file essentially you have you have retrieved the changes you need and if you have more than one file here you will see a list of all those dangling blobs and you can uh, individually go to each one of those files and look at the changes you need to pick so here if you want if i want to store these changes into a file i can just send them to a file and you will have all those changes. 
A couple of options you might uh, want to look at here is the format is uh, raw option, uh, which basically uh, tells Git to exactly display it the way it has stored it and not to do any modifications uh, while showing it. So this might be useful uh, depending on the file types we are working with, but since it's just a simple text file, this format doesn't really change anything. So that's how you do it this way. There is another way of doing it as well. So for the git fsck command, we pass this option lost found. And when we run this, what it does is it looks at all the dangling blobs that you it, the git repository has and it creates a folder uh, under .git called lost found. So this is the folder that it has created. And if you look at the other folder, so it has this ID, which is exactly the blob ID that you see here. And if you want to look at that file, you can just do, we can go back to that. And if we can that, it's the exact same file that we have seen before. So we can, uh, you have the information here as well. And so what I'll do is, I'll, since I know this is the most updated version of this file, I'll just move this. So I'll just move this file to movies and override the existing file. And I have all the changes. So I have all the three movies that I've watched. So now I can commit them, save them or undo it, whatever I want to do since I have the changes back. So that's how you retrieve changes after a git hard reset. So I guess that's all I have to say for this video. I hope this was useful and helped you in, in fixing your problem. So well, thank you for watching. Goodbye.